Hey guys, it's Mega Robert from Mega Robert TV, and all the Dragon Ball fans are definitely excited for the new Dragon Ball Z movie coming out called Battle of Gods. And a lot of people are saying since it's written by Akira Toriyama that he should recreate Super Saiyan 4 and make a new Super Saiyan 4 design. And I really don't want him to make a new Super Saiyan 4 design because we already have GT. We already have that Super Saiyan 4 timeline, dr the Shadow Dragons, Baby, and Super 17. We have that. So to make a new Super Saiyan 4 design, that's like a big like throwing away GT. And like GT never happened. And I like to think that GT never really happened. And a lot of fans think so. But the thing is, you know, it happened, so just leave that to the side. Don't even consider that. And what I thought he was going to do is maybe keep Super Saiyan 3 and that's it. Maybe turn Vegeta into a Super Saiyan 3, but stop it there. Turn, I don't know, Gogeta into Super Saiyan 3, but stop there. N nothing beyond Super Saiyan 3. Keep it there. Keep it Super Saiyan 3. And I thought that would be a pretty good idea. But some news has popped up now that there will be a transformation beyond Super Saiyan 3, but it's not going to be Super Saiyan 4. And by the way, it's not going to be like Super Saiyan 3.5. That, that would be dumb. But what it's going to be called is Super Saiyan God. Super Saiyan God? I mean, it's not a terrible idea, and the movie is called Battle of Gods. So it, it would kind of make sense to have a Super Saiyan God transformation, but that just is so out there. And let's consider that Super Saiyan God transformation that Goku has in the new Dragon Ball Z movie is going to be really a God transformation. And if he becomes a God now, that kind of throws away the whole point of Goku's character because throughout Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and even Dragon Ball GT, the whole point of Goku fighting and Goku getting stronger was so he could like get past his limits and get better and better as time went on. But now, if he becomes a god with immortality and limitless power, then he has no limits. And then, like, the whole Dragon Ball story stops there. So that's really saying, like, GT never happened, Goku becomes a god, and Dragon Ball Z ends right there. Nothing ever happens again. And I really don't want that to happen. So there are no photos of this whole new transformation. And there's nothing really proof proof, but... Some trailers have been translated from Japanese saying something about God, Super Saiyan God, and I really don't know anything else about that that's officially been said. So yeah, that's basically how it's going to affect the official uh, Dragon Ball franchise and the, how it's going to affect the movie. But now that I'm thinking about it, this could also affect the Goku vs. Superman battle, right? Because think about it. Goku versus Superman, you know, they only calculated for Super Saiyan 4 and that was it. But if there is going to be a Super Saiyan God transformation, then they're going to have to do some recalculations to see if Goku can surpass the Man of Steel. And yeah, that's gonna be a, a lot of work too, so we might have a new transformation and we also might have a new death battle. Wow, that, that's a lot of stuff to take in. And, uh... I don't really know if it is going to happen. I kind of hope uh, Super Saiyan God, it might be, let me think about it, it might be a technique and not really, so to say, a transformation, but I don't know. Uh, I really don't want to continue just throwing out random ideas, but question of the day, what do you think about this whole Super Saiyan God thing? Are you into it? Are you whole, like looking forward to it? You really want to see Goku become a god? Or are you like, no, stop there, stop there. Go Super Saiyan 4, but don't even bring up god in this. So, yeah, to give me your opinion in the comment section below. This is Mega Robert, signing off.